Hey, this is Jeff Garrett from the Set Performance Group, and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite books of all time, and it's called Thinking for a Change, and it's by John Maxwell, and it's subtitled 11 Ways Highly Successful People Approach Life and Work. And then one of the reasons that it is one of my favorite books of all time is that we're never taught how to think and to think differently. These are things that are taught in the book. John gives us those and it's really something the first time that I really learned about the different ways to think. So the book's in two parts. There's three chapters and then there's 11 thinking skills that John teaches in the book. Part one is change your thinking and change your life. First chapter is understanding the value of good thinking. And in there, Jack Welch has a quote and he says 99%, well, actually 99.9% .9 of all employees are in a pile because they don't think. Chapter two, realize the impact of change thinking. And here it's concept thinking of, the, of thinking at the next level. And Mark Victor Hansen was very successful in the Chicken Soup book fame. And he was making about a million dollars at the time and he came across Tony Robbins. And he knew that Tony in that same year had made about $153 million in that year. And Mark asked Tony, he said, hey, Tony, how do you get there? And Mark and Tony said, hey, who's in your mastermind group? Mark said, well, I've got, it's made up of a bunch of millionaires. And Tony said, that's a problem. Mark's thinking, what do you mean? Tony says, you need to get a few billionaires in that group. That will get your thinking to the next level. So the next chapter, chapter three, is the master of the process of intentional thinking. John's goal is to have one good thought a day. That may not sound like much, but to get one good thought a day in five days a week and then 52 weeks a year, with that you're going to have 260 good thoughts. And you build that up over a lifetime, you have a lot of good thoughts. And you also want to record those thoughts. And then, the oh, by the way, yeah, the section on becoming a good thinker is excellent and it's worth buying the book just for that section alone. Part two are the 11 thinking skills. The first skill is develop big picture thinking. James Allen once said, you'll become as small as your controlling desire and as great as your dominant aspiration. De develop focus in your thinking. You want to develop an area where you keep to your thoughts just to a narrow focus and not get way out there with your thoughts and in your thinking. You want to get creative in your thinking. And when I want to get creative in my thinking, I look for somebody that has the futuristic strengths theme under with the Clifton strengths. People with the futuristic strengths theme, they generally are thinking way out into the future. They're way usually way ahead of everybody else in their thinking. They tend to be very creative. So if you know people like that, get with them to increase your creative thinking. Uh, think realistically. You don't want to get your thinking to be way outside the box. You can be outside the box, yeah, but you want to stay in that realistic area. Plan your life, live your plan, and get strategic about it. This is something that John talks about, and it's actually an area that I specialize in. I specialize in helping people build that program for their life around the six Fs and learning how to execute that. Possibility increase, thinking increases your possibilities. In here, John talks about the concept of BHAGs. If you've ever read the book, Good to Great, it talks about BHAGs. BHAGs are big, hairy, audacious goals. They're goals that really stretch you way out there. Reflective thinking brings you into perspective. Uh, we look at experiences when we look at re reflective thinking. We think, okay, what went well with that experience? What could have gone better? And what would I do differently next time? Uh, popular thinking brings average results. It's something that John says here in the book. And good leaders, they swim against the crowd. They're usually the first ones to take an idea and go against what popular thinking is or group thinking is. Good leaders also understand the power of shared thinking. And we talked a little bit about Mark Victor Hansen talking to Tony about mastermind groups. Mastermind groups are a great way to share thinking, best practices, and ideas. Unselfish thinking makes you part of something greater than yourself. In here, we all want to be part of something greater than ourselves. We want to leave some sort of legacy or have some sort of significance. And then what are you trying to achieve? This is the last lesson that John teaches, and it's bottom line thinking. What is the outcome that you're seeking, and what is the bottom line that you're trying to achieve? 
if you're a high achiever, you're looking at going from great to world class, contact me to learn about coaching at jgarrett at theascentperformancegroup.com or on our website at www.theascentperformancegroup.com. And remember to be great today.